the last video I said that I was going to tell you about some game ideas that I am going to make and then miss out the server concept. I'm actually, in case it's already getting annoying, <laughs> I'm going to very quickly tell you about an idea that I'm not going to make and I am going to tell you the central concept because, um, it, you know, if anyone wants to make it, go ahead. Um, uh, it was an idea I got when I was thinking uh, somebody, if somebody just mentions the relativistic twin paradox, I <laughs> have to look it up and try and understand it again. Um, and it's a, uh, it immediately gave me a game idea. Um, and so, firstly, the twin paradox is um, relativity says that if you, uh, if you have a twin and you get in a spaceship and you fly out at a relativistic speed, which means close to the speed of light, um, you could do it slower, but then the effect would be so small you couldn't measure it. Um, so you go like 80% of the speed of light or something, um, and you fly for a decent amount of time and um, go very, very far from where you came and then turn around and come back. Then when you arrive back, your twin will have aged much more than you. In fact, um, you will have aged less than everyone else on the planet that you left. So time, much, much more time will have passed for the people you left behind. Um, and the reason it's called a paradox is not, it's not actually a paradox, but people say it is because um, the uh, immediate objection is, um, well, how does the universe know which one of you should age? Like, if there's no absolute, uh, you know, a concept of positioning, like, the universe doesn't know which one of you is stationary. They're, like, that planet isn't really stationary, it's moving incredibly fast itself. Um, and the answer is really simple, it's just that um, one of you changed velocity massively, um, and that's, it's the velocity you're traveling at that determines how these things align. <laughs> uh, it's one of those things where, like, when I draw the graphs, I understand that I can see it, I'm like, oh yeah, that makes sense. And then it's gone again when I <laughs> stop looking at the graph. So the game idea is, you're a uh, paramedic in a, um, a medical spaceship and there'll probably be a bunch of like starter missions where you're just transporting patients from planet to planet. So there's a patient who's sick on this planet but there's no cure on this planet but there's a hospital on this other planet where you can take you to, to that will cure them and they're going to die in like an hour so you've got to get there in less than an hour. Um, but then you'd have special case patients where there is no cure for what they have. They have a disease that's going to kill them in um, you know, three months and then no cure exists and it'll take about six months to research a cure. So somebody starts researching a cure, you load them into your, par into your light speed paramedic ambulance, um, wouldn't actually be light speed, but um, then you just launch from the planet and you just accelerate and you just keep on accelerating and there can be all these like uh, ridiculous thrusters and sort of uh, gauges and things that kick into gear as you go faster and faster and faster and you know, explode forwards um, and uh, you have to go close to the speed of light for a certain amount of time and then turn around and come back. Uh, obviously there'd be a dramatic deceleration process which would probably be the exact same thing in reverse just you accelerating the other way. Um, and the idea is because time passes less for you than for the people you left behind, they will have already researched the cure in what seems to you like less than three months. Like less than three months of time has passed for you and your patient who's going to die in three months. Uh, but back on the planet where they're researching the cure, six or more months have passed and so they've got the cure. When you get back, you can cure the patient. So you're changing the time frame, the, by changing the inertial frames of the two different elements in order to make the medicine and disease <laughs> out of whack in the way that you want so that you can cure the patient. Um, and I was asking around if there were any games that already did relativistic stuff, um, like anything where, because it's one of those things that it's really hard to understand on paper, but it feels like if you could just see it somehow, if you could just see how things, how time dilates and how space contracts as you travel up close to the speed of light, it would all make a lot more sense. Um, and turns out I, I couldn't really find, there are, some, there are lots of games where it's sort of abstractly in there, like when you're calculating the trajectory of a spaceship or something, then um, you know, it, it's involved in the maths, but you don't really see it happen exactly. Um, but there's one little prototype called um, relativistic asteroids. So asteroids, the top-down thing where you're firing um, shots at asteroids to break them up into smaller asteroids and if you go off the edge of the screen you come back on the other side. Um, this one is one where your little spaceship can travel at close to the speed of light and uh, you have to, it's not really a game, there's no objective and by default collision is still on, <laughs> so you're traveling at the speed of light in an asteroid field so you immediately die, of course, <laughs> there's no way to not die. Um, but you can turn that off and then you can customize lots of other things. You can customize like the shape of the asteroids and things. And um, 
if you make them square and you turn off collision and you go at close to the speed of the light, you start to see what this really looks like when you, uh, when you go at relativistic speeds. Um, and basically all the, all the asteroids that you're passing kind of squish and they look flatter um, side on to you. Um, and it's a really interesting effect. And then if you go really, really fast, they all just squish into lines. So there's just lines going past you. They still have width, but they don't have any length in the direction that you're traveling anymore. So you see things move past you, but um, uh, they're also getting closer and closer together, of course, because the distance between them are also contracting. Um, and it all becomes very weird and blurry. But um, what you can do is you can spawn asteroids in this prototype that are going at your speed. And they look normal to you, but they, in fact they look stationary to you because they're going at exactly your speed. But then you change direction, and of course those ones squish, and the ones that were squished unsquish. <laughs> And you do this for a while, you go in different directions, and you keep accelerating and decelerating and stuff, and what you end up, you make this sort of chaotic field of things that are zipping by at different relativistic speeds, um, all in different directions. So no matter what speed you're going, there'll always be some things passing you that are squished like that. They look like flat lines passing you. Um, and I thought it'd be a great twist if you're working in the about relativity, like this relativity paramedic, that once you get up to light speeds, um, or just at any, at any time during the game, you'd sometimes see little flashes of things going past. And if you were quick enough, you could accelerate and try and um, you would catch up with them. Well, they would be going at speed of light, so you could go a bit faster than them. They'd be going like 80% the speed of light, you go at 90%. Um, and the really interesting thing that happens when you do that is that when you're trying to catch something that's going that fast, and it's, it's so fast that it's just aligned to you, as you approach it, it expands kind of towards you. And so things that you wouldn't know what they were would be flicking past, and then you could accelerate to try and catch up with them and then sort of find out what they are. Um, and you could have some kind of like latch on mechanic and that could be like you know old I don't know defunct um, near light speed ships that could contain useful medical research or you could just scrap the whole paramedic angle and just make a game about exploring space um, and finding all these weird relativistic um, objects that are zipping through space so fast that you can't even tell what they are until you catch up with them and then of course they could be like once you latch onto them you're the same you're in the same inertial frame so you're the same proportions um, and then you could have like boarding actions, you could go inside them and that could be like a little level somehow. Uh, so as you can tell, it's like a little bit confused. <laughs> but there's definitely at least one good game idea in there. I think there's two. I think there's the paramedic one and then there's the boarding space hulks one. Um, and I'm not going to make either of them because they're not kind of, um, they're one of those things that's intellectually really exciting but I don't quite see the fun of the game. Like I don't really, I don't see it being actually that much enduring fun to play. Uh, but a really cool idea.